Hello, everybody. This is John with Alarm Lock and NAPCO Technical Support. In this brief video tech tip, I will be discussing how to back up your SQL Server database in your DO Windows uh, version 5. In this uh, video, I'm using the latest version, DO Windows 5.5.3. So I'm going to discuss how to do a backup and where the file is located uh, in case you are would like to back up to the cloud or back up to a flash drive or back up to a external hard drive or maybe a NAS that's installed on your uh, system. So if you go to Tools and you click Backup Database, this will perform a direct backup uh, for whatever here. This is a manual backup. So if we could just press Save here, you could, you know, you see it's named 553. You can, you know, date it if you like. Uh, so we could put today's date and press Save. This will execute the backup. So uh, options here on the backup is if you click on options, uh, you see here on the new version we have database backup and we have an automatic backup duration. Uh, so you could actually set the duration to be daily, weekly, biweekly, and monthly. And what this means is that when you're using the software, uh, either daily or weekly, uh, the system's clock will uh, basically prompt you to perform a backup. It's not an automatic backup where, you know, every day if you're not using the software, it's going to back it up. It's going to actually prompt you when you're using the software to perform a backup, which is basically the manual backup I just performed in the previous step. Uh, so, you know, I could set this one here to daily, and that will now, you know, every day I log into the DL Windows, it will prompt me to, to do a backup, and I would hit yes uh, upon exiting. Of the software. So, and this is the location of where the backup is located. Uh, in case you have a um, a backup plan, you know, for your IT department, or if you're just, you know, looking to further backup your uh, data so that you have it in case of uh, any problems with your computer and, and loss of database. Uh, so, this is definitely recommended. You know, it's always good to have a a backup of your uh, program. You know, just in case anything, you know, happens to the database. Uh, so we'll go to this exact location here. So this is the location. Uh, so we'll go into our uh, C drive. Okay, and we'll go into Program Files, uh, Microsoft SQL Server, and we're using ALSQL Express 2012. And you'll see MSSQL, and here's the backup folder. So this is the uh, backup that I did manually before. Uh, so, again, this one here, you can simply just right-click it, you know, copy, and I have a flash drive connected, an external flash drive, um, and I could just, you know, paste this into an external uh, flash drive that now I have uh, as a backup, you know, or, again, you could, you know, include this specific folder, you know, as a part of an automatic backup that you might have on your network, you know, if you're using a NAS or if you're backing up to the cloud, uh, you could specify this folder to also uh, back up. So, again, just in case you're a database on this local PC, um, is, you know, can not be retrieved, then you can, you know, always have a backup. And this is something we definitely recommend doing on all installations. Uh, again, my name is John with uh, Alarm Lock and NAPCO Technical Support. I hope you enjoyed this video on how to back up your DL Windows uh, accounts. Thank you for watching and have a great day.